Okay. Give item underscore G underscore or Kate underscore one. Hope it'll work. We're coming, Isaac. Because the quest still has an advance, but maybe if it's in my inventory. <sighs> Which way is it? Not the most well made of games. You still don't have it, do you? I didn't doubt you'd find this, and I apologize if I was overly imperious before. Hey. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first, this tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the yep. power ah! comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? That was sick! Why the hell did I need to see that again? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, but for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. Do you think that's something to do with their disappearance? I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Where do we find a better copy? Behind the spit-shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Before I go, I have some questions. Certainly. Anything else I can do in the city? There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. Hmm, I can see that's got your attention. Yes, tell me about this gargoyle. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking Kindred in my city. I'm interested, but how does one deal with a gargoyle? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd Thank you so much, Age now, Lag. Thank you I so much. It's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. 
I'll see what I can do. Certainly. Can you tell me about Velvet? You've met VV, have you? Of all the kindred I know, she seems... Certainly. Uh, about Ash? Ash. Go on. I hadn't seen anything like him since Cliff... Once everyone knew who he was, I no longer did. I acted on impulse. I'd seen so many... It devast... He feels obligated. Okay, I'm done. Yes, please, look into it. And in case you need the quest name, which is why I was trying to get through that quickly, so I can get back out to it, it's uh, Jumping the Bale. Let's see, the prince wants a sarcophagus. Fine, Gary, the prince has suggested. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Tremere Shantry now. Talk to him. Uh, I know what a smut, smut peddler is. And I need to find out the name of his collaborator. So yeah, let's go back to da downtown, because I have a couple things to check in there. And what's my experience levels look like? Eight? All right, well, given that I had to skip part of the quest, I'm going to console myself in some experience points. I think the quest says you get three, and because of my bio, I should get one more, so I should be up to 12. Give me a moment. Give XP 12. Nice. XP? No, what was it? I can't remember what it was. Just give XP. Like now I can't remember the uh, console command to give yourself experience points. Cause I've just been so worn out by this game. And it's bugs. Alright. I'm sure I'll remember it eventually. Gift XP, that's what it is. Thanks. Gift XP 12. So. Yeah, because that's the next thing I need to get up. So I can get my computers up to 10. Downtown, downtown. Now let's see here. Need to talk to Tremere. I think it's this way.
Even their even their console's kind of wacky when you think about it, because gift XP doesn't actually gift you XP. It sets your XP to a certain level. Which is a different kind of beast altogether. While we're here, let me get my cut of the profits. Money, right? Come back in a few nights. One, two, three shots, people! Ah yes, the money command. How can we not forget about the money command? It's like they intentionally built the console for people to mess around the game, but to not actually debug their game. Which is the absolute worst thing you can do with a console. Scathing review of the Cavalotic Cafe in the Sun, and I must tell you that I am extremely happy with the concussion. You have done well. Please accept the payment I've left in your mailbox. Prepare to check your email sometime soon. Isn't that what I just did? Don't tell me this one's bugged as well. Seriously, game? Are you going to tell me that all of the quests are going to be bugged? This is getting ridiculous, game. Great, that quest is also broken. Wonderful! Half the quests in my damn game are broken.
Fuck, the shithole of the city is falling apart. City of Angels, my ass. I'm glad you wasted those bastards. They deserved it. My pleasure, Listen, trust me. I'm really grateful. I don't really have any money or anything, but how about a freebie? Anytime you want it, okay? I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, you know? Sounds fair to me. Come closer. Okay. You know what, for all the hassle this game is giving me, screw it. I don't want to have to work for the computer 10. GIF XP20. There, now I can hack the computer in the Tremere Mansion. It's okay. It's okay. Tell me your secrets. Hello, Max. Vivi here. Just wondering if you've ever changed your mind on meeting for a meal. Something intimate, I think. I just got a new girl. Pretty, young thing. Just the way you like her. And she has hair as red as that gaudy jacket you insist on wearing. Oh, I dreamt of the day you'd let me find some new threads to suit your pearly gray body. Let me know when you change your mind, tall, dark, and mysterious Vivi. Guten Abend, Max. I sent over your account info concerning the little online experiment I would like to try out with you and a few others. Martine asks for modern manners. It's time to find other sources of influence and power. And if I'm right, new sources of this. Consider this game as a test. A modern Kurtaman. Oh, I recommend the undead race in the warlock class. Lyle Kirsten. Hi, Regent. Before I forget, whatever happened to your gargoyle? Regent Strauss, I apologize for my tardy reply. Your petition for counsel did not go unheeded, but it rather requires careful scrutiny to understand the scope of the Angel City situation. Truly much is at stake for both of the Camarilla and the clan, but little is clear. I strongly suspect the Anarch movement in your city, particularly the one named Jack, have a strong hand to play. Tread carefully. The ante is high. Hmm. Things are afoot. Things are a foot. You and your secrets. You and your secrets. Your secrets are mine, though, now. You and your secrets. Hello, neonates. How can I be of assistance? Let's talk. Of course. I have a question about 
gargoyles. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? It seems one lives in an old theater in Hollywood. I have some questions. What can I tell you about them? What is it, a gargoyle? A gargoyle, put simply, is a creature that was created to protect the Tremere clan in the early years of our existence. They are very powerful and not to be trifled with. Do they still serve the Tremere? Well, many gargoyles still serve the Tremere masters, but a number of them have since rebelled and gone into hiding. They are a sentient race, but ultimately unfit for the freedom they desire. They need the guidance of their former masters. Sounds like you have some personal experience in the matter, Max. Some things are not to be spoken of, Neonate. This is Tremere business, and you need not know any more than that. You know, the more I play these games, the more I want to do a tabletop campaign, but I don't think there's anyone in my neighborhood. <sighs> I used to be able to do tabletop online, but that petered out as well. Oh well. A few more questions ago. Start what can I tell you about them? How can I fight one? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blood force is the only thing they understand. One more thing. Of course. What can I tell you about them? Come on, Max. You're not telling me something about this gargoyle. Some things are not to be spoken of, Neonate. This is Tremere business, and you need not know any more than that. Let's tell me how to get rid of it. With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles. What can I tell? Of course. What can I? Of course. Hello, Neil. Of course. What is going on here? Because I know last time I spoke to him, I was able to get him to give me a quest. Do I need to have higher subterfuge or something? Charisma, maybe? Ah, screw it. This game has harassed me enough. Doing. Doing. See if I can get him to talk Hello, now. Neil. Of course. What? There we go. So I actually was. I didn't have enough skill to convince him. Let's try this then. <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. Your creation? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant, and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector, and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. I see. Well... Isaac asked me to get rid of them. Isaac Abrams. His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? I'll tell no one your secret. I appreciate your discretion in this matter, Neonate. Now, what do I need to do? Here, 
take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with a gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. So how's best to fight it? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Go. Okay. Of course. And that is... Uh... So what did he give me? Third Eye Charm. It reduces the amount of damage done by a gargoyle. We're coming along pretty well. Now, granted, I comp I counseled in some extra experience points, but still, coming along pretty well. But I believe I deserve it for all the drama this game has put me through. Plus, how else are you going to see the dialogue options unless I make them enabled? Yatta, yada. Out of curiosity, did that somehow cause a new email to appear over here? Nope. Honestly, as long as the main quest doesn't break by the final mission, I'll be happy. I don't mind missing out on side quests because I can always console in any special items. Don't enjoy consoling in special items, but if the game's gonna be broken, then I got no qualms with it, really. When the game is most assuredly having broken aspects. This entire quest being uncompletable. But again, my main concern is whether the main quest can be freaking completed. I think I've finished up everything I can do here that's of importance. Time to beat up a gargoyle. Need a ride? Now, I know the Sin Bin has what I need for the other quest. Can I find the information about the main quest here? Let's see. Private. DMP. Cash or whores, but that's a given. Sword still here? It is. What can I? Yeah. Hollywood. Well, since there's a replica katana down there. Let's take care of some inventory cleaning. 
Hola. I'm looking for tape. You mean like hardcore girl on girl on kangaroo action and stuff? Yeah, yeah, my man Flynn at the Sinbin hooks me and my crew up for all the stuff they don't even allow on the internet. Man. It's more of a horse nuff. Oh, that? Man, that's supposed to be some hardcore shit. I heard this one guy like died right after watching it. They should like combine pizza and nachos together. Like I said, and call them Flynn's nachos. Man. You should talk to me. Man, I could go for some his nachos right now. Hola. Ah, yeah. Really, the reason I came in here. First of all, we'll sell him the knife. Replica katana. A human arm. No, wait. Chocolate syrup or peanut butter? Chocolate syrup or peanut butter? Dude, I have to dip these potato chips in something. Now I've got the best gear. Back to the sin bin. Pick up a uh, replica patina. Man, can you clean up the blood in here? It's a little ridiculous. And a little bit tasty. Nom 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 nom. Ooh, I'm running low on cash. That is not a good thing. <sighs> Actually, with my social skills now raised up, I wonder if I'll be able to sweet talk the guy at the Lucky Star. Give me that kinda. Alright, so before we deal with the lucky star, which is way over there. F11. Hello. The moon is a mysterious mistress. Who walks at night with demons of dread. The Lucky Star Motel. Room 2. Don't. I'll be there. You know what? I'm going to increase my fortitude. About time I increased my fortitude. Night eating you? I need to name your collaborator. I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. <laughs> you get to keep your eyes if you tell me. <laughs> Here's my offer. You get to keep your eyes if you tell me. Don't you think he wants to be famous too? I mean, who doesn't? Okay, okay. This guy calls himself Julius. He lives under the pier. In fact, I... I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about vampire film like this all the time. He's a weird, weird guy, but really creative. You know, I, I love how his mind works. Thanks, I'll be leaving. The beach in Santa Monica. Of course he hangs out in the beach in Santa Monica. But, one other thing.
Oh yes, it's the internet cafe we want to go to. I know that sound. That's the sound of me putting on my new equipment. Exploding demons for fun and profit. Dude. Seriously, dude? What is your deal? Stop freaking out. I'd like to kind of talk to you. Kind of like to talk with you. Alright, fine. Buffy on these SOBs. Okay, still can't talk to him.
is going on up there? Dad, everyone slaughtered up. Oh, God. Shh, shh, shh. Don't, don't make any noise. They'll, they'll hear us. Who are you? You work for DMP? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, mean, no, no, no. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm with DMP. You 5 0? What the hell is going on? Those are the same creatures on your tape. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, but we didn't make that shit. I, one of the guys stole it, found it in the creepy house in the hills. We just copied it and put our names on it. Worse than anything we ever did. Worst thing I ever saw. What mansion? Where is it? Please, please, just, just get me out of here. Oh, no. Ah! What? Pray up it. Uh, fortitude. <laughs> Apparently, I could feed on him. <laughs> A bug in my favor. I will deal with it. For once the bugs have served me well. before I get my ass killed by being a from being a badass and not paying attention Actually, it's going to be this way, isn't it? Hey. Ooh, I don't get to do women often. Mm, especially ones as cute as you, sugar. Tell you what. How's 40 sound? Nah. I am not that desperate for blood at the moment.
flesh from your bones. <sighs> Hold on, I'm not here to fight you. I just want to talk. Talk? No. Always kindred are talking, scheming, hurting others with their lies. Monsters, you all. Abominations. A curse upon the earth. Hell. I'm not here to fight. We can work this out peacefully. No! There will be no more talk. Death for you, demon. Death and final darkness. No, please, there has to be another way. Is impossible to hurt. Move. Oh, wonderful frenzy. That could help. What's it take to hurt this guy? I mean, seriously, what type of character is expected to be able to fight this guy? Miss me. The only thing is when I do the Crodeon. I can't really use any other items. I can't really like equip the katana.
I'm probably not going to give up Proteon because it offers me... Uh, today. At my current level, I get plus two to my stamina, which is very useful. Now, yeah, I'd manage if I got up to fifth. If I got up to this, I get plus four to strength. Which maybe might be enough to actually hurt this guy. In a meaningful way. Yes, I noticed that he's being hurt, but it has taken forever. Granted, he's barely hurting me, but that's because I'm dodging his ass. You guys enjoying this? aware of that site. In fact, I don't know what it is right now because I obviously can't look at it while streaming. Definitely need to increase my Proteon. So that plus four strength will be a big help.
with me. Come at me, bro. Come at me. me and I'm in frenzy on four. Even hurting this guy. 
See, the weird thing about the combat system is if you use one, if you use the directional commands plus the left mouse button, if you use one directional button too much, they just basically deflect every attack, which is what I think he's doing right now. So I've got to find a directional button he can't deflect with, but the problem is, I don't know which directional button he's not going to deflect. Apparently my back attack, he won't deflect. So I haven't been using my back attack, it's kind of weird. Okay, left, right. Forward attack. Back attack. Nope, my back attack seems to be my best chance of actually getting past the defenses. And now I got used to the back attack, so now I gotta try left and right. See how those are doing. Left attack. Forward attack. Any mix of them. Randomly clicking one of the four buttons. Left he's immune to. Right he's immune to. Forward. Are you immune to forward? Yep, forward's getting your attention. And you're new to forward. So let's try backwards. Could be bad. Don't drain them dry, please. Um, stop. Stop, damn it. I guess it didn't count because he was a thug. Yeah, my humanity hasn't dropped down, which is a good sign. As in trouble, there are hunters after him. Then there is nothing I can do. Involving myself would be... No, I'm certain Ash will find some way out of his mess. Are you scared of the hunters? It would be foolish not to be. Once they've got your scent, they're like murderous paparazzi. I go help myself then. Any luck? I have killed the gargoyle. 
I admit, I thought you'd come back here with a stone foot lodged in your backside. But I'm glad to see you've proved otherwise. You've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full time for the wrong side. Got nothing against the Anarchs. I'd like to hope so. Well, if you'll excuse me. Wait, about the date. Any luck? The other things on the tape, they're real. Then this is no doubt the work of a fiend. Hand me the tape. There might be something on it that will give us some insight into what its motives are. in the tape. I know it. It's in the hills. King's Way, if I'm not mistaken. My guess is that the fiend that made this tape is using these creatures to hound the Nosferatu, which would explain their sudden absence. They're trapped. Well, it's unfortunate that the prince needs you to see the Nosferatu, because it looks like this fiend knows how to get at them, and I doubt he's going to draw a map for you. Looks like King's Way is your only way in, unfortunately. I guess I'll head there. I can have a car drop you off when you're ready. If I don't hear from the Nosferatu within the next few nights, I'll tell LaCroix he's going to need a new leading lady and march a few of my own troops up there. I'll take a cab, thanks. If I may give you one final word of warning, do not trust LaCroix. Do not play the damned politics of the Camarilla. This city hasn't needed them in a long time, and won't ever. Who then should I trust? That's for you to decide. I only know who you can't trust. I'll remember that. Goodbye, Isaac. Did he not give me something for taking care of his gargoyle problem? You head to King's Way yet? I had a few questions. Certainly. The Nosferatu? Certainly. In your lifetime, unwittingly or not, you have seen an Isaac Abrams production. As the financier of 30% of American films' top 100 movies, you must have. Being the Baron of Hollywood, I can do any project I want. Can I be in a movie? <laughs> What's your favorite person? Stewart, Lean, Hitchcock, Wilder, Holden, Dean. Scorsese, De Niro, and last but not least, Ash, my child. I remember some studio suit lost in time telling me the only thing they could use Bogart for was to move furniture. Ash? Ash. Where do I begin? Seven years ago, I saw a casting session for what would become Negative Zero. The moment I set eyes on him, the passion of his performance, I knew he had it. Go on. I hadn't seen anything like him since Clift or Dean. He had the looks, the charisma, the lure, that undefinable quality that makes a film legend. My first movie with him made him a sensation, and it also changed him. How? Once everyone knew who he was, I no longer did. Oh, we've heard I... this one. I acted on impulse. It did. Deb... He feels obli. Certainly. He was supposed to give me an item, I'm pretty sure. But he did not, which is a bummer.
So let's talk to the Tremere agent. Maybe see if we have any cash to collect from the uh, bar. Maybe see if any emails have arrived. We'll head up to Santa Monica. And deal with uh, the Lucky Star stuff. Once all those things are taken care of, we will... Money, right? Get out of your seats and onto that floor, you wankers! Once we've checked all those things, then we'll end our stream at uh, the house on the hill. Hello, neonates. How can I be of assistance? Of course. I resolved the issue with the gargoyle, Strauss. You did. That's quite an accomplishment for one so young, neonate. And with discretion as well. Again, you impress me. Just doing what I feel is right. And your efforts are well appreciated. Please accept this gift as payment for your accomplishment. The Tremere clan appreciates your confidentiality. 
Of course. He just gave me cash. Seriously? That's kind of annoying. I'll definitely have to console those two items in. Because something weird is going on. He's not actually giving me the quest reward. Neither one did, actually. down to the beach. One of the thin bloods that hangs out on the beach of Santa Monica, Julia. What? What? What do you, do you want? Julius? No, 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 no. What were you thinking? Do you know what the consequences are? I didn't know. You know what the penalty is, Julius, do you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please. Please. I I'll never do it again. Julius, the punishment for talking is death. No, 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 no. Oh, God, oh, God. These aren't my rules. You understand that, right? Please, find your heart. Please, find your heart. You're making this very difficult for me, Julius. Knock it off. You, you, you could let me go. I, I, I promise. I, I, I would leave Los a Angeles. I swear. Oh, you're leaving L.A. In a coffee filter. Oh, oh God. 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 Jesus, no, no, no. I 
can't do it. Go on, get the hell out of town. But if you come back, I will finish this. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you. Remember, Julius, never come back in this lifetime. Leave immediately. <laughs> And back to Hollywood. At least on the plus side, I regained some of my humanity. Being a vampire really kills your humanity when you think about it. I mean, I've lo most of my humanity loss is literally protecting the masquerade, so... Your choices are either protect the masquerade so that you don't get, you know, hunters hunting down every single vampire in existence, or lose your humanity. Yeah. Not the most pleasant of options, are they? Well, as long as I'm over here. Let's see if the phone has finally started working. I've done quite a few interesting things. Let's see if the uh, guy, Blue, one of my stories will be something of interest enough that uh, he'll start selling me blood again. Blood don't grow on trees. Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find some. If you're lucky, I hadn't freed her, her friends are going to shoot up the place. That's interesting. A missed opportunity. Guns make people cocky. You like to talk. <laughs> I was in a movie theater and this guy wouldn't shut up. I was robbing this liquor, this old liquor store clerk one time. Uh, let's see. One time I was jumped in an alley by this big dude. Yes? Started giving me shit, you know, really pissing me off. Shouts at me, threatening me, saying they're going to kill me. Give me the stink eye. Shouts at me, threatening me, saying they're going to kill me. Let's just go with that one. Keep going. Let's just say that they fell on sharp objects 26 times. When I broke their noses. Pop! Looked at my gun, made them do a crazy dance, laughed my ass off. Had <laughs> my new chuckers. You should have seen their faces when I broke their nose. Wow. You call that grisly? I want hardcore, unrated, unfiltered, congressional hearing style debasement. You don't deserve blood. Go get it yourself. Let's try it again. Blood don't. Now that you let that one go, that's interesting. You like to talk. Try this one. I was a movie theater and this one guy wouldn't shut up. Yes. Keep Down. going. Mm, I have my ass off. Number one? Wow. You're okay with me. Need a fix? Yeah. Definitely use some blood. Thank you. 
There we go. I guess we in pretty good shape now. Need a fix? Alrighty then. We have told him a story that he likes. We've got our blood fix. And we will be ending our stream shortly. It's going to take the cab up to 609 King's Way. And that's where we will end our stream. I don't need to increase my research just yet. No, let's save up for Proteon. Definitely need more Proteon. Where to? So I'll see you all next time, folks.